and that is three straight birdies on ah, the green. Gosh. Golf Channel. Yeah, Golf Channel Live. What if they just had some weird stuff on like independent film channel and there's some crazy like uh, Requiem for Dreams on in the oh background just gosh. like messing with our heads? Dude. That'd be hardcore. Young Leo DiCaprio though. Yeah. Would you be able to hold, would you be able to even hold the conversation with that guy in the back? No. That's no, no funny. That, no. no. Golf? Yes. Totally able to hold the conversation. That's because you're not paying attention. When golf is on in the background. Right. Even live golf. Right. Because so. you're just snoozing. Derek, what are you drinking today? Ooh, I'm drinking a Crux Porter. It's not too hot today, because if it was 90 plus degrees, I would have been said this was a bad choice. But it's a nice tempted, like, 70, 69. This um, is my new favorite beer what of all is time. It? The Freem Bright. Freem is out of uh, Hook River, Oregon. It is... Is it a lager? Yeah. It's light. It looks crisp. So good. So are you good. in flavor country right now? Mm. Wow. Wow, that's good. Flavorful, but light. Uh, I need to renew my passport so I can go to Flavor Country. <laughs> um, but anyway, I guess we should. Uh, let's get let's get the show rolling. Okay. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Beers with Benchmade. Thank goodness that means it's Friday. Yes. I am Derek. This is Hans. And uh, the premise: If you're joining us for the first time or have been watching, of course, we sit here, we drink beer, mm -hmm. and we talk about delicious, knives. Delicious beer. We of course broadcast live every Friday from uh, the Growler Run yep. in Oregon City. Oregon City, of course, home to Benchmade, and um, yeah, these guys have been super hospitable to us at the Growler Run and let us do this little show here and. Uh, also, feed us delicious, delicious beer. That's so good. How have you been, Hans? Uh, I live the dream. You, are you LTDing? LTDing. That's right. I love it. Um, but yeah, today, if you guys haven't seen our social feeds, we have launched or released a brand new knife. And um, right two there. brand new knives, to be more specific. Uh, the yeah. first one that Hans is showing you right now is the 486 Saibu, our yeah. collaboration, our latest collaboration with Saichi Mokomura. Yeah, so Derek, uh, Saibu stands for details. That's which, Japanese for details, right? That's right. And, and this knife is full of them. Um, this one has been a super joy to work on. Uh, it's actually always pretty special and fun when we get to work with outside knife designers. Yeah. A lot of these guys we work with are custom knife makers themselves, uh, including Nakamura. Right. And the prototypes that we get to see or the samples that they submit, yeah, it's phenomenal. And I think we did a phenomenal job just taking that DNA and incorporating it here. It is, and I saw the original proto for this knife. And this yeah. is this is by we tried to say as true as possible and we did it. I you know, I'm not trying to look like good job. Yeah, good, job like, good job us. Good job us. But good. like literally like this is what I could have hoped for yeah. that we could have translated his custom into a production knife. So Saichi Nakamura, if you never heard of him or want to know a little bit more about him, don't forget to check out our blog at our uh, website, benchmade.com forward slash blog. Check it out. You get a little profile on uh, Mr. Nakamura and, of course, our other designer that we just collaborated with, which we'll get to. Yeah. But um, any questions on the 486 Nakamura, feel free to ask us right now because we are broadcasting live. We yeah. are able to farm your questions live. I would so. like to point out a couple of my favorite details on this bad boy. Please, lay it on uh, me. And, uh, of course, inspired uh, by a walk. Nakamura took through his neighborhood and found some lovely lattice work. I see him wearing his like little sweater yeah. with the little suede patches, he's strolling around, getting to the park, going to feed yeah. some pigeons or something like that. But you can't look at this knife without recognizing those interesting window inlays there. So not your standard inlay and not one but two. And you've got a nice uh, stabilized coca bolo wood in there. Awesome detail. I, I think those are very unique. And then Nakamura on a lot of his products will do a uh, hand filed bamboo uh, spacer. Yeah. And what we've got here is a machined kind of version of that. Really yeah. cool details. And actually, if you look inside 
it's probably not going to show here, maybe if I catch the light right, but you also have that same pattern carried forward underneath and inside the knife. It's pretty uh, awesome. It is a good, it's a nice utility grind on that, and uh, we're looking at 20 CB, right? 20 CB, CB or 20 CB? Price and weight. Price, price and weight. weight. Okay, well the price is uh, MSRP of 250 and the weight, uh, well, let's see here, how many? How many bug outs does it weigh? Bug yes, outs. it came back! Right. Okay, so we are under two bug outs. Are we a bug out and a scale? You're a little Ooh. over a bug out and a scale. I'm yeah. guessing you're probably about a bug out and a blaze weight. Is that is that yeah. the question there? So you're <laughs> saying it's a, it's over two ounces. That's right. A little over two ounces. So um, I wish we could be more precise. Again, you can always reference our website, Benchmade.com. I probably should have referenced our website before we started this. <laughs> That's why I default when yeah. people ask me a question. I'm like, I do know. Um, but yeah, this knife is like by all means, like again, details. The the name is fitting for it. Um, if you didn't catch this, I'm gonna show this off because you. I don't know if you did, and I don't know if we get close enough to show this, but I can always be your hand model there, Dave. Well, I gotta figure out how this works. But uh, the thumb lugs oh, have a wood inlay. They are. They are wood filled. Whenever I can catch that, catch same, that in the light. Same color, uh, you know, as you've got in the window inlays there. So really nice touch. Something else you need. Not mm -hmm. something that Nakamura did on his original, but something I really enjoy. What's that? That is a satin mini deep carry pocket clip. First of its kind, right there. So you always satin. Always thought that those bug outs. You didn't like those uh, coated clips. Boom! Now you've got your satin finish. Mini deep carry. Good and this time. is a nice. We're calling it. It's it's a gen folder, right? We're Hundred percent gen EDC. I mean, it's it's got a super high end steel. You're gonna have great edge tension on that. But I think it's looks, it's size. Uh, definitely put it in the gen and everyday carry category. These cutaways are just. Yes, yeah, gorgeous. I mean, it also lightens it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And, um, just, it's, it's a pretty, pretty nice. Super and, of course, night. if you are going to be in Blade Show in Atlanta, uh, right. first weekend of June, uh, this is where you're going to be able to see this first time in person. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So uh, stop by there. stop by the Benchmade booth. We're ben, we're booth number one. That's how we roll up <laughs> at Blade Show. So again, if you guys have any questions as you're watching live uh, for Bench, beers with Benchmade, ask the same questions you have on the 46 Saibu. Otherwise, uh, I think we're gonna yeah. transition to the next blade that we unveiled today. Talking about unique, all right. And this one, I don't know if it gets much more than that. This is the 756 Micro Pocket Rocket. Oh my gosh, I think you just exploded some mines there. Yeah, um, so there was, of course, a mini yep. Pocket Rocket years ago. 755. Um, the, the interesting differentiator on that, and I'll kind of show you, yes, the size, but also, boom, you've got that nice little pop of the flipper right there. Really, really cool little guy to carry around. Lots of fun to use. Show us, then, that, show us that flipper action. And then we've got some really awesome uh, blue PVD details on that guy. Yeah. So everything from the clip to the pivot hardware, just an awesome, awesome, fun little kind of mini, mini big knife. You know what I mean? That's a funny thing. You see this knife unmistakably, unmistakably oh, yeah. Shane Cyber. Very much Cyber. So in terms of look and feel, in look terms of size, feel. this is uh, very new territory this for Shane. <laughs> I mean, he did do the original 755 NPR uh, with us, and then this one, he, he, he integrated a flipper into it, which is crazy to have. Wait, what, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that, do I see the gleam I think and shine? Actually, Shane Seibert's here on the growler run today. The one and only Shane Seibert, Shane. everybody. Woo! Let's get him in here. All right, Shane, we're going to pick on you a little bit here. We are. Take in that middle. Yeah. There's that. Wanna Make pull it out here whenever you're talking about it. Yeah, we're gonna pick on you since you're here. Sounds Just good. random chance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shane, here's stuff in Gladstone. Which, by the way, today I got to go uh, do a quick little video over at Shane's shop today, and uh, you guys will see that later on our uh, social channels. Um, but for now, the one and only Shane Cyber, right here, right now, talking with us. How's it going, sir? It's going great. Yeah. Awesome. Happy to be here. Thank you. Excellent. Well, uh, we just we just told the world today about the yeah. 756 um, MPR, mm -hmm. which then some people were like, oh, didn't they do that right? It's a little M, 
big P are because it's the micro pocket yes. rocket. Yes, it's now this one's new for Benchmade, but you've actually had this as one of your customs for the last what year and a half, two years or so. About that, yeah. What do you think? I mean, is it popular choice? Yeah, or? it's it's pretty popular. It's been well received. Um, it's very compact. Uh, easy to carry. Oh yeah. Carry it everywhere. So, Fun to use. It's thin. Yeah. It's thinner than uh, some of the others I've done. So. Thinner than other cyber knives, you don't say. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I could have swore that was bushcraft or thick. <laughs> um, what made you think about putting a flipper in just small pack? Was this just a challenge to yourself about putting a flipper in something so tiny? It's part of the, it was a challenge, but also um, it's just the natural evolution of the design. Yeah. Because I've had the pocket, basic pocket rocket design in the making for well over 10 years, so it's just a natural evolution of the design. Yeah. Fun with mechanisms. Yeah. We have a question for Shane already. Oh, all right. Any upcoming cyber fixed blade collabs coming? Oh, collabs. Yeah, cool. uh, I saw a lot of fixed blades at the shop today, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not in charge of product. <laughs> Uh, you've been picking uh, Greg's here a little bit, I think. I'm looking at something. I'm not saying anything for sure one way or the other. I'm just saying I've seen some stuff floating around. There's always ideas floating around. Always. And, uh, yeah, I mean, your fixed blades do have this, obviously, tactical flair to it. But then, like, I mean, when you look at the bushcraft, that thing is just, that is utility all the way. It can be used for both of the things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Another question. Shane, what is yes. your favorite knife? Shane's favorite knife. Uh, now, Shane, since you're on beers with Ben Bade, it has to be a Benjamin. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Or your own. For, 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 for a fixed blade, I'm liking the Avengers. Oh, yeah? Uh, that really? Is, that thing is, uh, what, that's a medium to small knife for you? Yeah. I mean, like, look at your mitts. Let me yeah. look, look at your hand up here. Okay. Yeah, there it's we like go. A, my hand's like a baby's hand next to his hand. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> well, you know the Arvensis is also that's Derek's what, favorite knife. I've oh, taught, I think every episode of Years of Benchmade, I've brought it up once. <laughs> At least once. Um, it's it's my benchmark for you know. Is this practical everyday carry? Both your you know, strand on oh. the desert island. How much exactly. is it? Exactly. Coconuts. Coconuts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Coconut. All right. See, See? exactly. <laughs> so much use. I, I love that. That you is. Did get a question on the weight of this guy? Oh my oh. gosh. Less than two bug outs? I would actually, honestly, I'm surprised yeah. that this also is less than two bug outs. Which, by the way, in yeah. case you guys, we didn't, we didn't cover it, but the specs for the most part, titanium scales yeah. on the 756, uh, okay. so 20 CV over. blade, it's about and a bug out and a half. titanium clip, so it's a titanium monolock, ball bearings, flipper. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it weighs less than two bug outs. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Scale of justice does not lie. It is all truth telling. I mean, this technology looks old, but it no, holds up well. Latest over time. in balance scale technology. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, there was an Apple logo, but we didn't want to pay royalty, so we scratched it off. This is very advanced. Very advanced. It's Japanese. Want to take more questions for Shane? Yeah, hit yeah. Shane up. Now's your chance. Although, Shane, Shane I got to tell you, man, I think we need to. Yeah, there's a lot more we can touch on this. And plus, we want to see some customs. Yeah. We want to see some Shane yeah. Cyber originals. That would be epic. I mean, that takes a whole episode. What is your EDC currently? <laughs> um, Show oh, us. Oh, what's it going to be? Oh, my God. Is that a 940-1? Oh, my gosh. Ooh, brown noser. <laughs> Did, you? Did you wear that just for this? I mean... He didn't wear it for this. He just showed up at the same bar that we happened to be doing this show at. But now it will be that one. <laughs> and how often do you think you carry a 940? Is that pretty typical? Yeah, every day. Yeah. Wow. Okay. What draws you to that one? Um, I like the thinness, the weight. It's uh, similar to the bug out. Very easy to carry. Oh, you're familiar with the bug out? Whoa. The bougel. <laughs> Shame. Keeping up in the night world, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. He has to. He's got two fingers on the pulse. That's right. Every day, all oh, the time. That's awesome. Well, you heard it here first. The EDC of choice. <laughs> 940 1. Great night. So, if you guys have any other questions for us, feel free. We've got Shane Seibert here on the show. Um, and, of course, we're talking about his brand new collaboration with us, the 756 Little M PR. So, just MPR.
Ergos, well, I mean, it's a, it's a fairly short handle. So, honestly, what my favorite thing about it is actually that it is still pretty comfortable. So you can kind of see, I don't have, I think, large size hands. I got maybe medium size hands. But it has a really nice zone here to grab that forefinger. And then it's got some jimping right here along the top. So you've got a nice, almost like a heavy duty yep. pinch grip on it is kind of how it works. And then you can wrap around another finger or two. But I would say, I mean, Ergos for a, a knife that doesn't fill the whole palm, I don't think it has any hot spots. It's, I mean, that's a fairly neutral design chain around the whole butt of the knife. And the pocket clip itself is actually kind of fairly low profile. I don't think it's, it's actually pretty smooth. It's a nice contour. So, give some perspective. Let's, I would, let's do a tiny hand. Oh yeah, put it in a tiny hand. There you go. Small hand. Like, see if you guys can see that. That is, I have very, very petite hands, I like to call them, not tiny. It's a little emasculating. Right, but... I want to see him in a giant hand. <laughs> Shane, you know where I'm going with this. All right, giant hand <laughs> Shane, show us what that looks like. All right, here we go. Yeah, boom. So yeah, I think really it's, it's kind of a, a strong two-finger grip. But it doesn't have any hot spots or any problems the rest of the knife. You didn't put any really, sharp. Really yeah. yeah. So, uh, men's hair is always a big topic on this yes. show. Yes. What is it like being bald? Uh, breezy. 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 Good answer. Low maintenance, good though, answer. right? Yeah. yeah. Low maintenance. You wake up in the morning, you're good to go. Yeah. yeah. Do you do one of these, though, every now and then? Yeah. It's like <laughs> cyber out. <apps. laughs> Uh, hey, I know it's probably not a question yet, but people will ask, and we, we bug you about your customs. Yeah. How much does a little custom micro pocket lock go for if they're ever available in your books? Well, they can go anywhere from eight fifty up to twelve hundred. That's kind of depending on like material you use and stuff like that. Materials and how much different work I put into it. And yeah. Scales or whatever. And it's a custom, a, so. Yeah, it's custom. Do you have a favorite kind of configuration you do on custom micro pocket rockets? Um, it varies. I mean, I like putting uh, grippies, build grip lines into oh, it. Oh, yeah, you do love that. Or uh, putting carbon fiber inserts into it or G10 or something. Beautiful. I saw some of this. I, I'm not going to give it away because there's we got some special highlights to show Shane shop, but um, yeah, yeah, that was, that was hard hard to look at some of those really beautiful knives that you had going. And, um, yeah, Shane, I'm serious though. We, I think we need to do a whole episode. Whole episode with you. I want you. I'd love it if you could like bring down some customs. Uh, we'll bring every collaboration we've ever done with you. Oh my gosh. But I think it would be super cool to just see some custom nice stuff. I got to see some of the stuff at your shop and some of the new designs you worked on and stuff, but yeah. if you just hit us up for a Friday, man, that'd be super, super rad. Yeah, it looks hey. It. And of course, uh, yes, this is Shane episode. Yes, are okay. On. People are on board? Yeah. All right. We will have Shane Cyber. Cyber episode. Oh my gosh. Good. It'll be great. Um, but yeah, so again, 486. Uh, Saibu and the 756 MPR Micro Pocket Rocket will uh, unveil today. We have Shane Cyber, designer of the 756, here with us. And uh, thanks for joining us, man. This yeah. is this is fun. And um, yeah, we are going to do a whole episode of you. I know this is we're going to schedule it. We're going to make it happen. And um, yeah, are you going to be at any shows? Anybody might be coming to. Uh, we'll be at the uh, Northwest Handmade Show, which is coming up in July. And at the, the USN show. And USN in Vegas. Yeah. Ah, USN. We yeah. haven't been. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if you want to see like deep custom knife world yeah. awesomeness, yeah, USN is pretty uh, Yes. Right. And people just throwing down big rolls of green. <laughs> a lot of talent. Yeah. A lot of talent, yes. And a lot of unique custom parts. So thanks again for joining us uh, for Beers of Benchmade. If you have a favorite or question about the 756 NPR or the 486 Saibu, leave it in the comments. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. But thanks for joining us. We'll of course be back next week to talk more about knives and drinks and beers. Unfortunately, we won't have same Shane Seibert with us, but um, we will at some point. We will at some point. Yeah. So, see you guys next week. Dude, that's a good time.